Guatemala, the land of the volcanoes, a perfect destination for adventure seekers and nature lovers. The most visited place in Guatemala is the colorful town of Antigua, surrounded by huge impressive volcanoes. One of them is Acatenango, one of the biggest volcanoes in Central America and the world. Acatenango is almost 4,000 meters high, or 13,000 feet, and for context, that's taller than Mount Fuji. Yeah, this Mount Fuji. Although it wasn't in our plans to climb it, we found out that the volcano in front of Acatenango, Volcan Fuego, was not only active, but constantly erupting. Oh my god! Oh my god! And the only way to see the lava from up close was to trek and stay overnight. So that's exactly what we did. Little did we know, this was one of the hardest hikes in the whole of Central America and would be one of the biggest physical challenges of our lives. All right, so we made it to the point where we're gonna start the hike. Mm -hmm. And we're the not nervous at all. <laughs> uh, but we met a really cool group of people. We're gonna be climbing together. Yeah. And, and we can do this. We can do this. on the entrance where you have to register yourself and pay 50 quetzals per person. Yep. It was quite a way up. How long? One hour and a been, half? We've been walking for an hour and a half. Everyone's told us that the first hour and a half is the most difficult. And we're praying that's true. <laughs> because, god damn. Let's see. You don't have to keep going now? Yeah, um, but The guy is saying it's getting cold, so we should keep going before it gets colder. Yeah. So, let's do it. Powering up with some nuts. Don't. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely destroyed. <laughs> Not anywhere near the top. <laughs> okay. okay. So it's been three and a half hours since we started. And I guess we're over halfway through. Alba uh -huh. is powering through like a champion, an mm. absolute boss. How do you feel? It's like two hours left. <laughs> I can do it. <laughs> Physically, it's very difficult in the beginning, and then it becomes like a mental game. Yeah. With, of course, your legs completely destroyed. So it there's that. Starts the... to get cold. It starts to get cold, and you're like, I still have to do more. Yes, we still had some more to go. The hike was challenging, walking uphill over sand and mud, but we powered through. It's been four and a half hours since we started. Uh, we're technically in the last hour. They say it's the easiest and it is flatter, not as steep, but the problem is that our bodies are so exhausted already. Yeah. With this bag, huge backpack. I'm shattered. I'm shattered. <laughs> this is where hallucinations start happening. Yeah. We just made it to an area that's above the clouds. I can't above. believe it. After almost five hours of checking up, we're still yeah. not there, but almost. And we're gonna keep going. The views are getting better though by the minute. Yeah. Wow. We made it to the top. I can't believe it. Five hours. Mm. 
my body is absolutely destroyed right now we saw the volcano like one second um, but it's very cloudy uh, hopefully it clears up during the night closer to the night yeah everyone says that during the night it clears up and then mm -hmm. we can see the lava yeah the volcano erupting so that's yeah that should be cool after the five hour hike the challenge wasn't over we were physically and mentally drained and still had to spend the night in a small tent with strangers in freezing cold temperatures. But after possibly the worst night's sleep of our lives, we were rewarded with a clear view of the volcano and exploding lava at 4 in the morning. Lava, lava, lava! lava! Oh my god! Oh my god! After watching the sun rise behind the volcanoes with a view we will never forget, the hardships of the day before started to fade away and we were reminded of how majestic nature can be. We've been watching the sunrise um, ever since like 4 a.m. Um, and yeah, we were really now, lucky. And it's now 6 a.m. Mm -hmm. 6.30 yeah. almost. Yeah, and we were really lucky because the volcano kept erupting like every, every, I don't know, every few minutes. Every 20 minutes or so. Yeah. Um, and now the sunrise is just gorgeous, like the colors are bright, we're tired, but the views make up for it. Yeah, and we put a fire together, <laughs> so we're nice and cozy here, yeah. pretty much alone, so that's a really good experience. We felt grateful for experiencing something that most people don't get to, and glad that we pushed through even when we thought we couldn't. This was a reminder that sometimes we have to put ourselves outside of our comfort zone to experience life's greatest gifts. And we hope to encourage you to do the same in whatever way feels right for you. Thanks for watching and see you in our next video.